Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number six of the Full Mingo Football Manager Road to Glory series. Last time out, we had a great episode. We turned around our bad run of form that we were on there. We got some wins under our belt, some big wins that could change the rest of the season for us. And today, hopefully, we're going to keep that going. If you're enjoying the series so far and you're excited to see where we can take this, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new to the channel, click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of the series. Now let's get into it. All right, today we are going to be playing through the entire month of November. We're starting off with a home match against Birmingham. Then we have a string of away fixtures, including the U.S. Cup second round against Mississippi. Then we're coming back home to Bree Stevens Field and playing Richmond Kickers, which could be a very important game because as of right now, they are one place above us. By the time we get there, who knows, but for right now, they're one spot above us, so that could be a pivotal game in the season. But first, we have these four games to get through in the league, so let's get going against Birmingham. All right, there is the team that is going to be playing against Birmingham. We are home. Birmingham is 21st in the league. Should be a win. Let's hope for the best. Come on, the boys. All right, we're kicking off. It's going to take his time. And lump it up to J.C. Banks, who's through on goal. J.C. Banks with his 15th goal of the season, assisted by Alex Cap, the goalkeeper. It doesn't get more Route 1 than that, does it? All right. 1-0 at half. There was only, like, two highlights in that whole half. So keep pushing in the second half. Come on. Now he goes long. He wants his second assist of the day. J.C. Banks nods it down to Don Smart. He's on the edge of the box. Gets tackled. We'll take the penalty. J.C. Banks is on it. We know he doesn't miss these. Come on, J.C. Banks. I believe in you. J.C. Banks. Yes. That a boy. 2-0 to the good guys. And J.C. Banks keeps his hot run of form on. This guy is an absolute animal. I'm telling you. He's a goal-scoring machine. Free kick, Paolo in, scored, Turbo Tobin, fantastic, 3-0, we're cooking on gas now, boys, let's go, long throw, into the middle, goalkeeper's there for it, what, what, <laughs> Jeff Michaud blocks the goal kick, I, what, Okay, Jeffrey, I see you. There's the final whistle. 4 nothing over Birmingham. They are in 21st. This is what we expected, but still, very good. There's a team that is playing against Memphis. Away from home, they're in 9th place in the league. Could be a tough game. Hopefully, we can get some points here. All right, up the goes. Come on. They have a corner kick here. JC Banks is so used to scoring goals that he just scored on what just what he just walked it into our goal all right come on brandon eaton goes up up top finds paulo paulo through to jc banks he makes up for it with a real goal against the other team this time jc banks his 17th goal of the season 18 if you count the one that he scored against his own team it's too easy they're just going right through us come on here we go, Jeff Michelle in the middle of the field. Come on, Jeff. Jeffrey, up front to J.C. Banks. He puts it through J.C. Banks on the brink of halftime. Puts us up 2-1. Two, two goals for him on the day. And he keeps scoring goals. I can't emphasize enough how good this guy is. There's halftime. J.C. Banks, what a hero. All right, coming in the second half. It needs to be better than that. And they whipped it in, and there's the goal. 2-2, two two, Eugene Starikov with the goal. Too easy, just a free header. Ah, they have a throw in. Allen. Oh, no, come on. Same exact thing. Cross from the same side. Starikov in the middle, open header. Come on, we need to get one back right away. Bartley's on the ball now. Gets by one. Gets by two. Oh, has a decent strike. There's the full-time whistle. That was ours. Come on, boys. Just let it slip right through our fingers. Oh, no. J.C. Banks is injured. That's huge for us. There's the team that we're going to use against St. Louis. Vocek, Vocek coming in up top 
for the injured JC Banks. He's going to have to fill in some pretty big shoes up there. Midfield just a little different, moving Eric Leonard up and putting Alexis Valela in where he was. Brandon Eaton is going to be starting on the bench. Everything else is looking the same. So let's get going. We need players to step up in the absence of JC Banks. We need goals from somebody else. Ryan Fisher on the left. Paulo Jr. gets the steal and he's away. Come on, Paulo Jr. down the right wing. Got a man in front of him. Gets the cross off. Don Smart puts it away. Don Smart with his seventh goal of this season. We needed somebody to step up and there's Don Smart. He's doing it for us. Looks like St. Louis has a free kick now. And it, wow, the curl on that. Like a League One Beckham. Can't even be mad at that. There's the halftime whistle. One to one at half. We need something here. Come on, give me something. Let's get one right at the end of the game. Come on. Oh no, they have a throw in. Come on, stop them. No, Alex Cap with the big save. They get another corner though. Come on, lock it down. Good, Ariano clears it. Fall is on the ball. <laughs> nice little rhyme there. And they get a free kick. St. Louis with the free kick. Ooh, header is over the bar, that's good. And there's the final whistle. 1-1 away from home against a team that's right behind us in the league. I'll take it. Obviously, you prefer a win, but at this point, take any points we can get. Now we're facing off against Tacoma Defiance. They are in 22nd place in the league. So hopefully we can get a result here away from home and keep climbing up the table. Kicking off now, up the goes. Here we go, Paulo Jr. has a free kick, finds Ariano on the side. Yes, Hugo Ariano with the header. 1-0 up to the good guys. Vocek on the corner, goes short to, to Valela. Back to Vocek, goes across, Brandon Eaton. Down smart with the full volley from the edge of the box. Get another corner. Here we go, Paulo Jr. goes short. Valela goes across. Ah, Leonard was there. Couldn't quite get on it. Valela again. Finds Paolo. Down smart. Another corner. How many corners are we going to get before we score one? Eric Leonard. <clears throat> Down smart. Ah, come on. Carl Schneider now. Whips it in. Paolo Jr.'s there. That time we don't miss. Paolo Jr. with the goal. His fourth of the season. Finally. One of those goes in. We have had 16 shots. Here we go, long throw from Terrell Lowe. I'm a poet and didn't even know it. Paolo Jr. is poetry. I'm writing poetry in the commentary. Paolo Jr. is writing poetry on the pitch. Beautiful stuff. And then Paolo gets injured. Come on, we can't buy a break here. Tacoma with a throw in, O'Leary finds Lee. Back to O'Leary, the big cross. Falls to Joe Eck, who puts it away. That's just poor defending. And we'll take the win. 3-1 to one away from home against Tacoma Defiance. Absolutely will take that. Oh, no. Daryl Shore. Former head coach, Daryl Shore. Once I took over, he moved to technical director. And he has now been named as Indy 11's new manager. All the best, Daryl. Good luck to you. Thank you for your service to the club. We will receive 190000 in compensation from Indy 11 for, for him. Sad to see him go, but hope for the best for him, unless they're playing us. All right, here is the team playing against Mississippi in the second round of the U.S. Open Cup. Our standard back line, standard midfield, now our wingers. We're switching out a little bit. Toyama starting on the left. Cox starting on the right. The reason for that is Don Smart has reached the yellow card limit and the injury that Paulo Jr. picked up in the last game, he's not quite ready to come back yet. So those guys are starting, which actually could be a sign of things to come. I don't want to scare you guys, but if we look at this right here, Saturday, November 30th, Don Smart's contract expires, Paulo Jr.'s contract expires, JC Banks' contract expires, I tried none of them want to extend so they will all be leaving us so this is basically our new first choice team so we're gonna have to make do with what we can it's a huge loss we thought you know jc banks being injured 
was a huge loss, but turns out we're actually going to lose him and the other two permanently. We got to make do with what we have. These players can get the job done. They are good enough. I believe in that. They just need to prove it now. Here we go. Second round of the cup. Mississippi, we're away from home. This is a winnable game. There are two divisions below us. We need to get a win here. They have a free kick now, and they get a goal. Dean Tran. Wow. Okay. Come on, boys. Here we go. Jamal Cox on the right wing. Vocek in the middle with the header. Vocek, Vocek. There it is. We're in Madison. We can do the W, right? That's that's how this works. Vocek, Vocek. Hugo Ariano finds Jiro Toyama. Cuts inside. Good. Dices up one. Loses the ball, but Jeff finds Carl Schneider on the wing. Carl Schneider into Vocek. He heads it home. The man can't miss with his head. Just smacking balls into goals all over the place with that thing. There's the halftime whistle. Two to one over Mississippi. We should not have given up the goal that we did, but second half, keep it rolling. More goals, more goals. I'm not happy just leading by one. Two to one is the most dangerous lead in all sports. That's what they say. People, people say that. Sports people. Another free kick for them. This time turbo clears. Jeff Michaud is on it. Finds Vocek up top. Vocek could be through on goal. Gets tackled. That's got to be a pen. Yes. Penalty. Vocek is on it for his hat trick. Vocek, Vocek. There it is. He gets his hat trick. 11th goal of this season. Third in this game. Coming into the end of the game. There's four extra minutes. All right. We have a throw in. Carl Schneider. Toyama finds Tenorio. Danny Tenorio has been on the pitch for like three seconds. Danny Tenorio with the fourth goal of the game. Good stuff. Okay, I lied. Danny Tenorio came on in the 83rd minute, scored in the 93rd. So he was on the field for 10 minutes. But still very good. Good substitute appearance for him. He doesn't get much playing time. Now he probably will with our new team dynamic with our three basically best players leaving. God, that hurts. That hurts my heart. I don't want to talk about it, but I'm going to. In... This new scenario that we have, Danny Tenorio is probably going to be coming off the bench a lot more often, so that's good to see that he scored a goal there. Here's the draw for the third round of the U.S. Open Cup. 65 teams in this round, and go. All right, we are playing San Juan, which is in the National League Division One, which is the same league that Mississippi was in, so they are in... The, what is that, three divisions below us? Uh, let's see, they're in 12th place in that league. Mississippi was in third, so in theory, San Juan is a worse team than Mississippi, so hopefully that means good things for us. And that will be December 28th. All right, so unfortunately we have had to release all three of our star players. They are no longer with us. We couldn't agree to new contracts with them. We can't re-sign any of them. So they are gone. But the show must go on. So there we are. Our new first choice, 11. Vocek up top. Toyam on the left. Jamal Cox on the right. Same midfield, same back line. Alex Cap still in goal. All right, come on the boys. We're back in the league. We're back at home. Let's get some points. Kicking off against Richmond Kickers. Now, Richmond is in fourth. We are in seventh. We can't overtake them with a win here, but a win is still vital to our league campaign. Schneider with the throw-in. Doesn't find anybody. Turbo picks it up in the middle. Finds Vocek up top. Vocek was offside. Dang it. They have a corner. We get rid of it. Looks like we gave up a penalty. We did. Okay, come on. Alex Cap. Be a hero. Alex Cap. Not quite. Okay. Not great. All right. This is our chance. Carl Schneider with the throw. And he finds Eric Leonard. Eric Leonard. Jeff Michaud on the edge of the box. Finds Vocek. Vocek puts it home. This time he's on side. Vocek. Vocek. He is picking up right where JC Banks left off. He says, this spot is mine. I should have been starting the whole time. Beautiful from Vocek. Carl Schneider's header drops right to them, and Boateng is through, and he puts it away. Charles Boateng gives Richmond the lead 2-1. to one. Come on. There's the halftime whistle. 2-1. to one. We are down at home to Richmond kickers. Very even game here. 
we have the lion's share of the possession, but everything else very even. Come on, we need to be better in the second half now. Come on, somebody get get the ball. Oh my God, he's through on goal, and he puts it away. Mutaya Mwape. Uh, well, now we really need goals. Come on. All right, we're switching it up back to our flock. Yeah, that 4-4-2 or 4 4 We need something to change here. Here we go, Arias on the corner. Eric Leonard puts it away. His fifth goal of the season, just when we need it. Now keep it going. We need more goals. Come on. This is the time. This is it. We're at home. At least get a draw here. Come on. Score a goal. Get a goal. Come on. There's full time. We lose two to three. Just not good enough. We should not be giving up three goals at home. All right, so that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. We finish it where we started it. Seventh place in the league. We are now on 37 points after 21 games. Could be better, could be worse. We are three points outside of the playoff spots, but there's a lot of league left. Plenty of time to make up that difference, not even halfway through the league. So plenty of time for us to keep climbing the table, get back to where we deserve to be. Let the Flamingos fly up to that top of the table and up to the next league. Hopefully we can get there. For now, we're going to have to make do with 7th place. Big losses on the team. We lost Paolo Jr., our star player on the wing. Although, to be fair, he never really contributed that much. He was good, never great. Don Smart, who showed up with a lot of good goals for us at key times and was our vice captain. So, that's a big loss. And then, third and finally, and most importantly, JC Banks, our talisman at the top of the formation. Just banging in goals for fun, leading the league in goals and average rating, and most player of the matches, he's gone. Sad to see, unfortunately, the financials just weren't going to work out, and he apparently didn't want to remain a forward Madison player, but that's okay. We can stay full mingo without him. We can stay full mingo without any of them. We just need the rest of the team to step up in their absence. So far, they've been doing okay. Got a little leaky in the defense these last couple games. Hopefully we can clean that up a little bit as we move forward, but we'll have to see next time. If you've enjoyed that episode, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the family. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of the Full Mingo series. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.